Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate four different Fiori apps that were created for portfolio and project management. We'll see how easy it is to approve decision points, create portfolio item proposals, change portfolio items, and finally confirm project tasks. This is the home screen of SAP Fiori. As an authorized reseller of SAP's S4 HANA, Blue Marble Consulting can create a cockpit just like you that caters to your individual business processes. Now these are the four different apps that we will take a look at, approving decision points, creating portfolio item proposals, changing portfolio items, and confirming project tasks. Now before we dive into this, it's worth mentioning that all four of these apps are transactional apps. And transactional apps let you perform different transactional tasks. So they represent simplified views and interaction with existing business processes and solutions. So the first one that we'll take a look at is approving decision points. So I'll click on this tile. We can see that we have only one portfolio item here listed. Now if we had more, we can filter by or group by different categories, such as item type, decision point, or priority. In addition, you can also attach notes to this portfolio item. And right here we can see that we have one note and I can also pull up information on the user that posted this note. So I can pull up their contact details and their company information. We can also take a look, or we can also post attachments to this portfolio item. Right now we don't have any, but if you wanted to, we can just click on this plus sign and attach a file. Now, finally, down at the bottom, we can see that there is a prove and reject button, and it's as easy as that to approve this item. So if I want, I can click approve and add a note to this if you want. We can also reject the portfolio item, and when that happens, the item is status is listed as rejected. So I'll leave this alone, and we'll back out and go back to our launch pad for Fiori. So approving a decision point is as easy as that, and you can, from the screen, see how many different decision points you have. Next, we will actually create a portfolio item proposal, and currently we can see that there's eight, and we'll create another one, and when we back out, we'll see that there will be nine from the home screen here. So again, we can filter by different, or group by different types, so item type or priority. And to create a portfolio item proposal, we just click on this plus sign right here, and we'll add this to a particular portfolio. In this case, we'll add this to the Australia portfolio, and we'll add in information for this proposal. So we'll choose an investment bucket from the drop-down, and we'll just add in information like the name, ID, item type and description. Add a priority. We will put very high. And then add in a budget. So for this we'll put in $2 million. Start and finish date. And we'll have the finish date a couple months from now an area and a location specific to that area. And then we can go ahead and save and when we save we'll see a information message at the bottom of the screen letting us know that this was saved successfully. All right and there that is. And now this pops up for us right here. We can see all the information for the proposal as well as attach different notes and attachments to this proposal. And so now we'll back out and you can see that this has been moved from eight to nine different proposals. So next we'll check out the Change Portfolio Items app. And this will just allow us to change and edit information related to these different proposals or portfolio items that we have. And from this list, I can choose any of the portfolio items and then go down to edit and say that the forecasted budget 
has been changed from 20,000 to 30,000, we can go in here and it's as easy as changing it from this edit screen. Go ahead and save this. All right, it looks like we're having a little issue with this particular item type, so we'll change the budget for a different portfolio item. So again, we'll go into edit, go down to the forecasted budget, and we'll change this from 46 to 48,000. Go ahead and hit save. You'll see over here we can view that 46,000 as it is currently, and then that will be changed to 48 once we go ahead and save this. Here that is right there. And all the information related to this portfolio item is displayed. Now we'll go back to our home screen and take a look at the last app, which is Confirm Project Tasks. So we can see that there's two here that need confirmation. So click on this tile. And we'll just wait for this to come up. And we can, from here, we can put in work hours for different work tasks. So say that you're assigned to this process analysis task, which we can see is part of this CRM implementation project, and you just completed eight hours of work. You can go in and click edit and enter in your work progress. And so we'll put in eight hours here for eight hours work since the last confirmation. Go ahead and click Save. And we can see that that project task has been completed since there was only five hours total remaining and we entered in eight. So now that project task is no longer in the list since it has been completed. So now we'll go back to the home screen. So these are just four different apps for portfolio and project management. These are just the tip of the iceberg as PPM is a very large module. But you can see how using SAP Fiori creates a much more simplified process of your transactions. For more information on how Blue Marble Consulting can implement a solution like this for you, please call one of our numbers listed here. And for an extensive list of all the Fiori apps, please visit our website at sap-bmc.com forward slash Fiori.